she's just a coworker. Hmm. Reset again. The attention fell back on her. And maybe your focus is not on convincing her, it's on just eating. Yo, Darius Britt here. I shot a short film using the Panasonic G7, and I recorded the entire process from start to finish. If you're new to filmmaking, maybe you'll find this useful. I tried to bring you guys as close to the filmmaking process as I can. The short film is called Not Cool. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description section, along with a complete list of all of the gear I used. This is the first video in a three or four part series on uh, how I shot my last short film. I'm using resource filmmaking to put this thing together. Meaning I'm starting with what I have access to and then I'm writing the script out of that. I just wanted to shoot a simple idea where I could practice working with tension. I had this idea about a couple with trust issues and I just sort of followed that train of thought into a script. I wrote the script in my email. It's about a three or four page script. You guys have seen Kate and Travis on this channel before. I wrote the script with them in mind as my actors. Casting is done. For the main location we're using Travis's house. I know what it looks like. I've shot stuff there before. First day of shooting is tomorrow and I haven't even done a shot list yet. So I got the G7 with me. We're just gonna poke around the house, see what kind of possible shots we can get. And then I'll do the shot list later tonight. Who is Sarah? <laughs> yeah. Eat. Hey, yeah. And then Stan, where you were standing? Also remember the uh, skylight will have sunlight coming through. I think I might be able to get this whole scene off in one shot, right? So she's where you are brushing her teeth and then I can see your reactions uh, in, in that mirror. Here I'm planning shots for a scene that eventually gets cut from the script. The phone rings, you pick it up, look at it. Yeah. The mirror play looks dope. Plus you can get this too, so if you wanna. You're here, you guys are looking at something on the cell phone. She's kind of laying on you and then you get the text that fires in. I think I can get away with one light. Yeah. As you turn uh, to her, you'll be kind of rimmed by the lamp and then I can bounce some more light to fill you in and then she'll be keyed by the lamp. Yeah, she's gonna be hugged up to you kind of like that. Yeah, this this could work. I gotta think that, like that, that headboard is just so dope, man. My LEDs. Because they're only daylight, I need tungsten. Yeah, so if I just pushed in this way, this would be a dope. That would kind of be a dope shot. Yeah, and you're going to be shirtless in the last scene. Copy that. Yeah, sorry, it's got to happen. Expected. This has got to be like a couple like getting ready to go to sleep, so. If you got any qualms, man, if you want to shave it up into a diamond, whatever. <laughs> Run away, whatever Superman you want to do. Superman I made the shot list last night and finished the script. As usual, I'm getting the first day jitters. The good thing is, if I screw anything up, I can just reshoot it. FYI, I'm trying this new shot numbering system out. It, it didn't work. I'm not gonna bother explaining it because it's not worth the confusion, so if you're wondering why the names of all the shots are a little funky, that's why. Hello. What up, yes, Ikano Sake. <laughs> Killer trap. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Ah, we're gonna do this and let's do it. Do you want me to start cooking up bacon or do you want sausage? Sausage for now, because we'll shoot the living room scene first. Sweet. Okay. We're gonna, so he's making shepherd's pie for later on. I didn't eat breakfast today. Yes, so Starving. <laughs> this is gonna be our staging area here. The staging area is where you store all your gear. You wanna pick a spot. That's going to be out of the way for obvious reasons. Links to all the gear that I used are below. There will be like a kit profile or something. I'm shooting with the Panasonic G7. This is my first time using it on a short film. Shoots 4K, love this little guy so far. I did a review on this camera, I will link it below. I'm using the Camvate DSLR camera cage for attaching accessories. Fits a ton of different cameras. The G7 is super light. This guy's gonna give me more weight and mounting options. The only lens we're using today is the Lumix 25 millimeter F1.7. It's nice, it's fast, and we can open that aperture up to blur out the background. I'm using 
the Amazon Basics black camera bag. I'm using the three pod tripod. I did a review on this guy too, but I think they might be discontinuing this tripod. Edelkron sent me this M plus slider. It slides up to twice its length, which makes it very portable for its size. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro for reference sound, plugging this bad boy directly into camera. The monitor I'm using is the Feel World FW760. Affordable as far as monitors go, it can display up to 4K. What's up, KK? Right. You darn. Good, how are you? Here's the plan. I'm gonna shoot the living room scene, then I'm gonna shoot the bathroom scene, then I'm gonna shoot the bedroom scene. Three scenes. Let's get it. No. Clipping the script and the shot list to myself so I don't have to go looking for it. Right now, I'm checking to see if the establishing shot that I'm thinking is gonna work. And it looks like I will have enough clearance. I like the shot. I'm gonna slide right out of the previous scene and then start this scene sliding into it. It should make for like a smooth transition. If you've already seen the short, then you know what transition I'm talking about. I'm about to throw up the Aperture 120D. Since I got this light, I've used it on almost every set. The good thing about LED lighting is it has a lower power draw. I almost never have to worry about blowing a circuit. So we've got plenty of sunlight right now, but if we set a 120 outside blasting in, we can get consistent lighting. <laughs> I have a couple questions about their relationship. Whenever you shoot a relationship scene, your actors are gonna have a lot of questions. This is a good thing. It's okay if you don't have all the answers. Talk about it, work it out together. You don't suspect anything, yeah. Okay. I think the fact that you're looking at the texts and you can see what the texts are, there is no evidence of guilt there. You know, maybe a year. Yeah, so we're, we're more comfortable with each other at this mm -hmm. point. Yeah, Very comfy. Like you smelled his farts before. <laughs> You smelled her farts before. At this point, we're running behind schedule and we haven't even started shooting yet. I'm realizing I probably should have set call time two or three hours earlier. What other outfits did you bring? I brought... Trav, you've got your cheater shirt on. We'll rock with that. My cheater shirt. This is cheater shirt. He's gonna be sitting um, where you're sitting, Jess. Oh, okay. We're gonna move you, so you guys will be here. Yeah. We may scoot this coffee table up. Yeah. Right there is good. Co-worker? Guy? They're seeing it for the first time today, so they're coming at it completely cold. I knew this would happen, that's why I kept the dialogue to short little quibs back and forth. Easier to memorize on the spot. We still may need to move the couch. We're, we're good now, though. Wow, okay. Look. I, I didn't say anything. Look at this. She writes me novels. We are keeping it. Oh, okay. Yeah. While they're rehearsing, I'm going to experiment with some framing. The over-the-shoulder shots that I wanted to do are out of the question. I don't have the right lens to pull it off. To get the composition I'm looking for, I need to be on like a 50 millimeter lens. So I'm going to just stick with clean singles of the actors. I, I didn't say anything. Wow. A lot of text. <laughs> For sound, we're recording both actors with H1 Zoom sound recorders. I'm giving Kate the iRig lav mic. I reviewed this and a few other budget mics. Link is below. I'm wrapping the mic in first aid tape to create a tube separating it from the clothing. And then I'm using Rye Coat double-sided stickies to secure the mic to the actors. You know the spots? Yeah. It's it's about soloplex kind of, area. Yeah. I'm giving Trav the aperture lav mic because he can hide the power module. Say your ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Thank you. Text on. Like this? Yeah. Okay. I can drop it down lower. Okay, go here. That's better. Okay. What'd you do? I just moved it down slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Say your ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, J, K. And you are good to go. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Sarah, can you do me a favor? Hold the light, this gray card like this, a lot closer. Got it. 
And then when I say sound, both of you will turn your recorders on. And then when you see the red light, say red. For those of you new to this channel, whenever I shoot something alone, I usually have my actor slate. That's that dirty slate. There's no clapper board. So you just say the take, you illustrate it with your hands, and then you clap. So we'll just do a dry rehearsal. Uh, nobody press anything. Sound, and then when you see red, call red. Red. Slate. Four, one. Got it. Action. When I say you got a text draft, then you look down at your phone. Next. And now I'm setting up for the cell phone shot and I can't decide if I want to do a slide left or right or a push in. LED light storm bouncing off the ceiling to give us a little bit of that ambient fill. On, off, on. That push in action, Travis. I wish you could see this push in action right now, man. You need to see this push in action, man. So your hand is kind of obscure in the phone a little bit. Is there a way you can cheat? Yeah. We are using false color to grab our exposure right now. Kate, be ready to text and I'll give you a cue. I'm not recording any audio for this shot. Just throw up four and then two. Four, two. Got it. So we're doing a push in to emphasize that moment when he gets the text. Pretty much as soon as you see it go, give it like a second or two and then go in. Cool. Tip. I'm gonna get another shot of you texting just in case I need it and I'm gonna get the shot of you just turning your phone to her as well Action going on a text I'm taking static and panning shots as alternatives just in case the sliding shots don't work in the edit Knocked out on the same deal. What does Cali muscle do? Ba -da -ba. I'm not sure how I feel about the directionality of the light on him right now. It's it's a little high for my taste. It looks a little artificial, so I'm gonna drop the light down. Kate, scooch uh, a little this way. Okay, now look at Kate. Is there a way you can look at her but, but without moving your head like all the way up like that? Because in the frame I'm close so it looks like you're doing just straight up like bird necking. <laughs> <laughs> it's so exaggerated. So we're trying to find a middle ground to it. Let's see if we can diffuse that light. Uh, that is... Man, that's just really cutting the light down. So this guy is killing the light too much right now. Oh man, this looks way better. It's spreading all that light out, so it looks more au natural. Four, four, one, one. Who's that? that? Coworker. Guy? Girl. Hmm. Take from the top, I mean, you said. Yep. So I'm short setting Travis here for a couple of reasons. One, I think the framing looks more interesting. Kind of like we're peeking over his shoulder. Makes you feel something. And two, if I gave him more traditional framing, you'd see my GoPro camera on the table recording everything. So we're gonna stuff this contacts down so I know that this battery has been depleted already. Bloop. Whoa, hey. So I'm seeing you about here, mm -hmm. right? Everything else in the scene is working. It's just this one moment that's not 
landing. I'm a sucker for body language. I like to see my actors like move around. So we're gonna try injecting that into this moment and see if we can't get something more inspired. I told Travis, this, this is your frame. It's a close up. I'm seeing this much space in front of your face. I wanna see you work your hands in this space some way, somehow, and have fun with it. Live it out. Hey, come on. None of that. I, I, I didn't say anything. No. No. I, I didn't say anything. No. You stop that. Hmm. <laughs> no. 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 Still doesn't feel grounded, so let's try another adjustment. Just try to get her to laugh. Make her smile. Okay. Hey. Hey. None of that. Okay. That was perfect. <laughs> I was like, what I was like, what can I do? <laughs> Hey, come on, come on, hmm? You cut that out. So that she's just a coworker line feels stilted. Let's do some work on that. Maybe take a drink of water when she asks you that and then let the line roll out of just the busyness of doing all that. Roll sounds. It's a lot of text. <laughs> She's just a coworker. I think when you're looking at her, okay. it, it's becoming awkward for you. So I'm thinking of where else you can focus your attention. Maybe eating the next piece of bacon. Okay. Focus on something yeah, else. Yeah, just something else. Because when you're looking at her, it just looks too desperate, like you're trying to convince her or something. That's a lot of text. She's a weird coworker. Right, when it's like she's a weird coworker, it's not about looking at her. Look at everywhere else but her. It's a lot of text. She's just a coworker. Reset again. The attention fell back on her, ending yeah. on her. Maybe your focus is not on convincing her, it's on just eating. So, like, say that line. To yeah, like you're pancake. putting the pancake in your mouth. Yeah, she's just a coworker. Okay. It's a lot. Of text. She's just a coworker. That read way better. One of the easiest things you can do if you're working with inexperienced actors, get them some sort of physical activity to focus on, like reading or chewing or watching something, anything. It really helps get them out of their head. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna do one more. Wow, that's a lot of text. She's a big texter. It's a lot of text. Is this a corker? That read so much better. All right, cut. I think we got that. Can this go down? hitting Kate with this uh, silver. I like I like what it's doing to her. It's a little dappled. It doesn't look quite as saucy. Obviously, if I move it, you can see it's on her. But I'm liking the texture. It's giving on her hair right now. And we got it on a light stand with a bounce holder. I'm gonna move this guy. Is that on her? Should be on her right there. Yeah, it's on her. Standing by. Sweet. And action is ready. Who's that? 
Uh, coworker. Guy? Girl. That's a lot of text. I'm just a coworker. Yeah, I'm not feeling this shot. I need to get closer. Okay, take it from the top. Keep going. Just move in closer. Trap scoots that way a little bit. Okay. That's a lot of text. Just a coworker. It's reading a little bit like you're a victim. Okay. We don't and, want to. And more so of just a, hey, bro. Hey, yeah. This is shown on your face is betrayal already. A note on storytelling. People don't like to watch a victim. If you've got a scene where a character is mistreated or dealing with some obstacle, that actor's got two choices. They can either choose to play the victim or they can play the fighter. Nine times out of 10, the more interesting choice will be for your actor to play to the strength of their characters. That's a lot of text. She's just a coworker. Good. I think we're just missing opportunities to live it. Live it. Yeah. yeah. Camera is speeding. Four, four, three, two. That's a lot of text. Redo that. That's yeah, a lot that, of text part. Just that part. <laughs> and you can kind of just have the phone up near your head area because that's where yeah, I am. Like kind of. And then just scroll through it with your pinky or something. That's a lot of text. Still reading measured. Okay. Yeah, kind of stay with it and just stay with yeah, it for you just a while. Gotta... That's a lot of text. I mean, that is a lot of text. Like, you weren't kidding about the novels. I mean, like, what is this? Like, Great Expectations or something? <laughs> you weren't kidding. Novels. Like, you weren't kidding about novels. Like, yep. You weren't kidding a novel. Like, <laughs> I think there is a novel on here. It's like a lot of text. Like, it keeps going. Echo. It's a lot of text. Look at this. This is like a lot of text. You weren't kidding. Like, the novel. Like, look, look at how long that one is. Like, so far, we have thrown 13 takes total at this moment, and we still haven't found the performance yet. We can't move on. We gotta go back in. Four, three, one, three. Wow. That's a lot of text. So pull the phone up to you, and I'm gonna track your phone okay. with your hands. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of text. That's a lot of text. Like you weren't kidding. Let me take that again. Yeah. yeah. And then just simplify. I mean, like, that's a lot of text. Like, like it keeps going. Like, we'll just take it from that second lit, lot of text yeah. part and we'll just series that. Once you're flipping through them, you're laser beaming them. Look at all these texts. That's like a lot of text. And Still we'll a little off. Yeah. That we feels more natural to you. Just a series of just that part. Yeah. And, and we'll just, just play around part. with it and, and see what comes out of it. Throw spaghetti at a wall and see what yeah. sticks tight in Yeah. Method. I mean, look at that. Like, that's a lot. Like, you weren't kidding. Like, a novel. Like, I mean, look at that. Like, like how long some of these are. I mean, it just, like, it keeps going. Like, you weren't kidding. Like, a novel. Like, it just is. Look at how big this one is. That's a lot of text. Like, a lot of text. What? What? <laughs> Let's just play with that moment. Okay. What is this? Like, it's so long. What is this? I wasn't finding it again, so I wasn't. Whenever, just eject, and we'll just hit it again. It's, if you didn't get it, it's gone. It's gone, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just go right just, back to it. This is a lot of text. Like, it's excessive. Okay, I'm just stay scrolling. on him and... I'm still scrolling. Something like that. This? a lot of text. Like, look at how big these are. Like, look at that. Like, I'm still scrolling. Like, look at this. You're making a point to him. Okay. The intention of this scene is it's still like, why the, like, why is it? It is. It? You guys have already established your dynamic earlier. So right. you can kind of get on him with this and it won't pollute the tone we've already established. It'll okay. just be one moment where you're like, bro. Yeah, because that's, I think that's the problem is I'm trying to find like a funny choice or something, but it's not yeah. like what. It, it, it's reading as you're not committing to something. Is what yeah, because it, it's violating like what I think is. The intention. Like they set my sense of truth of what this scene should be, which yeah. is like. It, which is calling him. What a is this? Yeah. Follow that. That's a lot of text. A lot of text. Wow. 
profile a lot better. The beat's really clear. After a total of 26 takes, we got it. You can feel the difference. Wow. This is why I love directing. Why does filmmaking take so long? Because it takes time to get the good stuff. It takes work just like everything else in life. We're not done yet. I need more than just one good take. I need options. It's a lot of text. A lot of text. The same intention and play with the execution. It's a lot of text. A lot of text. Yeah, man. Damn, I feel like I'm in trouble looking at it. <laughs> That's a lot of text. Like a lot of text. Some of the reasons why I'm doing it again is for camera. Yeah. I'm just trying to make yeah. sure we get a shot both great for you and on technical side. I appreciate it. I want, I want to do text. One more again. I mean, isn't that a little weird? A lot of text. It's a lot of text. Like a lot of text. I, I missed that one. No worries. Filmmaking. A lot of text. Oh, it was. Oh, crap. I saw you scroll, but you were already at the bottom or something. It's okay. I know. It's a, okay, it's, there's like half of Shakespeare in here, but it's not. <laughs> no, you're good. This is a lot of text. Like a lot of text. I'm just gonna leave the camera still. Locked off shot. This is a lot of text. A lot of text. It's definitely near somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of slides. A yeah. lot of slides. A lot yeah. of slides. I have some good takes for performance and then I have some good takes for camera, but I don't have a solid take with both. We've been shooting Kate for 30 minutes. We just gotta move on. This is what's gonna happen. In the editing room, I'm gonna have to pick between performance or camera. And I'm gonna pick performance. You gotta pick performance, man. I would, why wouldn't you do that? When your actors are having trouble finding a performance, just be patient, keep experimenting and working with them and keep trying new choices. Eventually they will find it. You just gotta burn through all those choices that don't work. We did a grand total of 36 takes. And just so you know, I ended up using like the 31st take. Recording and then just scroll through the phones and read some of them. scene is around the relationship scenes they are like the toughest to nail just establishing those dynamics and all that kate's got like a lot to say on that one yeah it's, <laughs> it's a tricky thing to do sometimes when you have the smaller amount of lines you have to fill it more you gotta um, live it out more yeah and you have to really find especially for romantic relationships if they've been together a long time like travis and i have known each other's friends but that's very different from somebody that you're you're close to that's all we were doing right there i mean they're they're practically like one-liners this and that four and a half hours it takes a while to get this stuff man you can't rush it and not if you want to get anything good anyways what do you no no yeah he says no we definitely can't do the bedroom scene today man just like given how long it it took to get that Bruh. made shepherd's pie and it's <laughs> delicious and nobody's eating it so <laughs> New plan. We're gonna rehearse the bedroom scene as much as we can. See if we can get into the nuts and bolts and work everything else so that way the next time we meet, we could just roll right into shooting. I think I'm just gonna be pointed this way the whole time. Grab, you're here, closer to the lamp. Kate, you're on the other side. We'll just read it first, mm -hmm. and then we'll figure out blocking and all that stuff. Call her. Now? So the top of the scene, I'm you, Kate. You two are like here. He's like watching. You're laying on him like this. <laughs> like this. He's got the phone. So this is the top of the scene here. Mm -hmm. watching. And you're you're watching D for Darius, whatever. Uh -huh. Text comes through. Hey, why don't you call her? Oh, yeah, you're yeah, yeah, not sure. And then when you call her up, I guess you could just throw the phone on your chest like that. Uh -huh. And then it's on speakerphone from there. Hey. Maybe you're up like this talking mm -hmm. to her. Hey, Stacy. Yo, yada da blah 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 say blah. Yeah, so where did y'all meet at? Oh, I met him at the strip club. Oh, and then you just kind of 
sit up like that, and then the rest of the scene you're kind of in this upright position because now you're getting distance yeah. from him. So that's pretty much all the blocking Cool. from that point. Put this here. It looks like fun, like. I freaking works. Ingenious! 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 I'm using a Godox light. This is a cell phone light. It has a few different settings for brightness. It's a dimmable light. This guy comes in handy for all different kinds of applications, especially lighting my camera bag in dark places so that I don't have to use a flashlight function on my cell phone. You don't work at the cigar lounge. Kate's piecing out. And oh, and the light just went off. Darkness, <laughs> everyone, darkness. It is darkness. Brightness. Yeah. All right, Kate, Kate, we'll catch it. We're probably gonna reconvene next Saturday. Leaving all the gear here. Tripod stuff stands set up, like multitasking just drains the crap out of you and I'm shooting and then vlogging and then also being a grip and camera and all at the same time definitely wipes you out but well that's it for day one we won't be shooting again until a week from now until then I've got some changes to make to the script faux show sure. well that's it for part one of shooting not cool stay tuned for part two links for all the gear that i used or mentioned are below also if you want to peek into the life of a filmmaker in gritty detail i made an entire documentary about how i made my first feature film unsound we cover everything from writing financing shooting film festivals the whole shebang if you're serious about making movies i highly suggest you check it out a lot of the challenges we faced making that film will apply to you you'll be glad you did i do believe that's all that i got for you Thank Thank you for watching and de Brit out. Oh.